Okay, this is another example involving the kinetic theory of gases. So in the beginning, you are asked, you are said, you are shown that the kinetic theory of gases is based on some simplifying assumptions. So don't forget there are four assumptions. And the molecules of the gas are assumed to behave as hard elastic identical spheres. Alright. And you remember they move in all directions. So state the assumption about ideal gas based on the nature of their movement and the volume. So I think you should think of terms that are pretty common that mention, that we mentioned in the lecture, which is uh, random, rapid, or jerky, and also the fact that they have constant velocity lah, until it hits the wall of the molecule. Okay, It wouldn't suddenly change velocity halfway, but random and jerky is the best way to talk about it. Besides the volume, you can say the volume is negligible when compared to the volume of the container. So please refer and compare it to the volume of the container because this is a two mark statement. All right, this is the good old diagram that we looked at in our theory video. You have a particle traveling at Cx about to collide with one side of the container. So let's see what the questions want from you. So you can see here that uh, it says that the pressure of the gas P due to, co due to the component Cx is given by this expression. Explain how this can be written to one third nmc squared. So this is another small part of the proof that they want from you. And the interesting thing here is that you notice, as I mentioned in previous examples, they will ask for proof, but they ask for different, different parts of the entire proof in the video, in the 10.2 video when I derive the equation or when we derive the equation. So here, molecules have a component of velocity in three directions because movement is in 3D. Ma. So you write this equation, no? All right, this cx square is equal to cx, c, I mean c square is equal to cx square plus cy square plus cz square. And then since the motion of the gas particles are uh, random, the average, and you have a lot of particles. So we are taking averages. So rho c square, I mean the mean of c square. I mean, you think about it, right? Because the average for x and y and z will be the same if you take a lot of particles. Okay, this is a statistical treatment. Then you can then write c square is equal to 3cx square. So now we can substitute, right? We can uh, look at the equation on top here and replace cx square with this c. So that it may look like this. So hence you can say pv is equal to nm cx square and because your cx square is one third c, because this is for many particles, then you will again end up with this equation. So prove it. Three marks. Where are our marks? Well, one mark is for you if you can uh, show this and explain it appropriately. Three direction. One more mark is you saying that they are equal, and one more mark is you substituting into the former expression. All right. Next, molecule of ideal gas have RMS 520 meter per second and a temperature of 27 degrees Celsius. What is the root mean square speed of the molecules at 100 degrees Celsius? So this one is very straightforward. We expect the particle to travel faster. But first, we need to think about what relationship relates the mean square speed and the temperature. Okay. So the answer to that would be that you can start off from kinetic energy. All right, so kinetic energy will be equal to 3 over 2 nkt. So recall this equation, and this will be half mc square. So when kinetic energy or mean ke is half mc square, so this is uh, 3 over 2 nkt, you can see that c square and t is directly proportional All right, for the same gas molecule. So now we will take c square, mean square, mean square speed is proportional to temperature, then root mean square speed is proportional to square root of temperature. Sometimes we write it as CRMS. All right. So now your CRMS 1 over CRMS 2 is equal to square root of T1 over T2. Okay. So you might be wondering, hmm, if I divide the temperature, right, like T1 over T2 this way. So I'm going to put in CRMS 1, 520, CRMS 2, divide by square root of 27 plus 273 over 
100 plus 273, it must be in Kelvin. All the equations in this topic has to be using the temperature scale of Kelvin. All right? Because a lot of these equations have roots from ideal gas law. All right? So when you do this equation, uh, by the way, you if you, you don't be thinking, oh, degrees Celsius and degrees Celsius will cancel out. Because the conversion of degrees Celsius is actually in by adding. So because you add, oh, then I cannot assume that the conversion will cancel out. Like you see this part here, cannot cancel one, okay? This one cannot. Alright, so now we're going to press calculator, this is 0 0.896. Rearrange, you get your mean square speed as 579.8 or 580 meter per second, written to 2SF. Because hotter, ma, so temperature increase. So there are many equations in this chapter. Um, I'll just record a summary video for you later, but make sure you are you try enough examples to get used to questions from here. I will see you in the next example. Again, the mark scheme, just to review the mark scheme for you. When you come up with a proportionality relationship is one mark, converting to Kelvin is one mark, mean square speed answer is one mark.